Hello everyone, welcome back. We're talking about The Boys today. This is the complete run with several of the miniseries. We have got the first appearance of The Boys here. This is the team led by Billy Butcher. Um, this is that Amazon TV series, Amazon Prime. If you guys are not watching this, you have to. This is the issue number two, first appearance of Frenchie and Mother's Milk. This is number three, first appearance of The Seven, Homelander, Black Noir, Queen Meave, A-Train, Starlight. Um, this is the first full team appearance, number four. And then this is when the, it, the series switches over to Dynamite. So it was um, Wildstorm at first. And then it switches over to Dynamite. Dynamite um, is the publisher for the rest of the series. Uh, we had the first appearance of Tech Knight there, which that cover cracks me up when he comes in. He's like a spoof of Batman. It's going to be hilarious. This first appearance of little Nina. She's apparently been cast in season three already. Um, these covers, man, I just start cracking up when I start seeing these. This series is legitimately funny. It's very different than the show. Um, you definitely need to give this, this series a read because if you're a fan of the show at all, you're going to love this. And Garth Ennis is awesome. He's written so many things. Um, some of my favorites specifically being Preacher and uh, what he's done with The Punisher. But this, this, is, this is hilarious. Is it one of my favorite series? I, I don't know, but it, it's good. This is the first appearance of Lamplighter. So we didn't really see a whole lot of him in the, um, in the show, but uh, in the comics here, which uh, this here is the book right there. Oh gosh, if you watch the show, you know what that is. That is a messed up scene right there, man. Then we got the female there on the front cover. I'm going to try to call out keys as I go across them. This is a good one. This is the first appearance of G-Wiz. So we haven't really met these other uh, superhero teams, specifically the one that's making fun of the X-Men. I cannot wait till we get that in the show. The show is funny. Like, I'll go back to it. Like When the new season started, specifically season two, it was a little off-putting. Like, it was kind of weird to go back to that after having so much Marvel and um, you know that type of comedy and just that type of content. It's a, it's a little off-putting, but man, once you get back into it, oh my gosh, it's just, it's just hilarious. Um, yeah, and uh, Terror, the bulldog, Billy's bulldog is much more prominent. Oh, here's Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, tell him. So this is obviously a spoof of Captain America. And then here's Stormfront. So we know Stormfront uh, from the series, but... Uh, it's a, it's a female in the series. Oh, God, there, here's Mother's Milk. <laughs> uh, here's a V addict coming up, Frenchie. This is an awesome cover. Alien homage. I was really digging that. It's a really neat cover with... Uh, Homelander eating eating a heart. That's the blackmail right there. That's all I'm gonna say about that. There's Starlight. Unfortunately. Uh, as far as like prices go, there's only a few of these that are super high value. Um, I think issue one is like a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks. I don't know if this was a very highly printed run. I'm not sure why these issues aren't more valuable, but that first appearance of Gee Wiz is going up. And Queen Meave in the story is much different than in the um, the show. Here's a Dark Knight Returns homage. Love that, as you can tell. Yeah, like I said, Queen Meave is very different. Um, she's more of a... Uh, like a drunk, like she's a drunk and like she just lives with all this regret and she's so angry. There's a, a homage to issue one, so issue 50 was a throwback to one there. Um, some of these covers are hit and miss with me, like some of them are literally laugh out loud funny and then other ones are just like portrait pictures. Um, but I mean this, this, this series is just so intense. 
That 52 was the first team appearance of the Avenging Squad. Eagle the Archer, Crimson, Countess, The Buzzer, Manbot, Ladio, Steel Knight, and Soldier Boy. Oh my god. So there we go. Storm, Stormfront and Queen Meave there. What a cover. That is hilarious. And that's, he's supposed to be a um, spoof of Martian Manhunter. This is one of those series that is just tragic. Uh, there's a Wolverine homage. So the more you read comics, the, the better an understanding you have of comics history and just comic characters and even like comic covers, the more you appreciate this series. Because... I think this was written from a place of, you know, Garth Ennis being tired of the same old tropes, like how we perceive heroes, how we, uh, you know, how would heroes exist in a, in a real modern world situation, and him, him just writing his ideas of what that would be. Um, the more you know about comics, you, I, think you, I think Garth Ennis is coming from a place of love for comics uh, as much as he bashes them. It's kind of funny to read this and then go back to regular comics, like read this and then jump into like Uncanny X-Men. Like it, it puts a different perspective on what you're consuming. Okay, that was the last issue, 72. And then these are the miniseries. So this is Butcher, Baker, and Candlestick Maker. This is uh, Billy Butcher's backstory. I have not read this yet, but I'm assuming they pulled parts of this from... The comic to the show because we don't get a lot of backstory of Billy in the regular run so um, six issue miniseries there and then this is the other big book here is this hero gasm number one um, this book is kind of hot uh, it is a disturbing cover there but um, it is uh, also part of that mini series another mini series that's the first appearance of Soldier Boy. Okay, that's the first appearance of Soldier Boy. Okay. Um, there's the Soupies. I think I'm missing one issue of this next miniseries coming up. Uh, yeah, this Highland Laddie. I think I'm missing one of those. I can't remember. But, um... Yeah, that, that hero gasm number one, that's like a hot book. Because Soldier Boy and his pay, uh, payback team to be featured in Season 3. Yeah, and, and Huey is a different character in the comics as opposed to the show. He's, he's different. He looks completely different. They didn't even attempt to cast him like the same, same look. Okay, this is the boy's dear Becky... I think I'm miss missing issue three. Um, this was like after the events of the boys. It, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You can take it or leave it. But yeah, this is the boys. This is the complete run with all of the miniseries. I think I'm miss missing like two issues from two miniseries. Yeah, guys, this is a cheap read. Pick it up.